Hey folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always, a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel, The Bushcraft Padawan. A few weeks ago, I recorded a couple of videos around bearings, grid bearings and magnetic bearings and bearings in general. So it seems a natural time now to start talking about the different types of knolls that there are, because there's an absolute correlation between taking different types of bearings and the different types of north that those bearings relate to. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to start talking about the types of north. Now, geographically speaking, there are a handful of different norths available, geographically speaking. From a map reading and navigation perspective, there are really only three that tend to be used. And if I'm being really honest, all the years that I've been out and about navigating with a map and compass, so since about 1990, 1991, 99.9% .9 of the time of those three methods, I've really only ever used two of them. However, for the purpose of this series of videos, I am gonna cover off all three types of north that are usually used or may be used when it comes to map reading and navigation. So let's have a look at this first one, shall we? The first north that I want to talk about is true north, sometimes referred to as geographic north. And to assist me with this, I have an orange and a chopstick. True north, sometimes referred to as geographic north, is the direction of the North Pole. To put it really simply, that's one of the identifying features. It's the direction of the North Pole. It's also the point at which this imaginary axis that the Earth spins on, and for the purists out there, I know about the angles and all this and that and the other of the Earth and so on, but this is for just purely demonstration purposes. It's for illustrative purposes only. It's the point on the Earth's surface, the northern point on the Earth's surface, where this imaginary axis forms for the Earth to rotate on, as I'm doing there, you can see. Above True North, if you were to look up within one degree, you would see Polaris, or sometimes known as the Pole Star or the North Star. You may, depending on, on what your celestial navigation is like, you may be able to identify that from looking for the plough or the Big Dipper as it's sometimes referred to, to locate the position of that star. But if you were stood there at the, that point on the Earth's surface and looked up within one degree, you would be looking up at Polaris, the North Star, the Pole Star, whatever it is that you want to call it. The observant amongst you may now notice that there's been a slight change to the orange or the Earth as we now know it. You'll now see that I have drawn on lines of longitude. Admittedly, I've only done it from the equator upwards, just to prove the point. True north, or geographic north as it's sometimes known, is the point where those lines of longitude, let me face that down the camera, where you can see that they converge. See them there? There we go, it's maybe a better angle. They're all converging there on true north, the North Pole. Geographic North. I'll admit it, I feel like a bit of a plonker stood here in the woods with a chopstick graffiti covered skewered orange next to my head, but I'm hoping it's helping to illustrate the point. Remember at the beginning of the video I mentioned that there were three norths that tended to be used for map reading and land navigation and that I, majority of my life, have only used two of them and that leaves one. This is the one. This is the one that I have rarely used. Now it is useful to be aware of it, it's useful to be aware that if you're looking for the Pole Star Polaris, the Big Dipper and how that can, can orientate you to north, it will get you in the general direction of north. But personally I've never really used it other than for party tricks when it comes to celestial navigation or navigation by the stars. What's interesting though is that I follow a lot of people on Facebook that are based out in the US and they tend to refer to True North a heck of a lot. They never really refer to Grid North. Oops, stole my own thunder there. We'll come on to that in a future video. But personally, 
where I am in the UK using the majority of my life using UK based or UK manufactured maps never really used True North. It's always been the other two Norths that we'll be looking at in future videos in this series. Those are the Norths that I've tended to use. So let's just recap. True North. It's the North Pole. It's the direction of the North Pole. It's the point on the Earth's surface, the northerly point on the Earth's surface where this, this, uh, this axis pierces the Earth's surface, if you like, and the Earth rotates around. It's the point where the lines of longitude converge. You can see it there. It's also the point, if you were stood on it and looked up within one degree, you'd be looking up at Polaris. True North. It is one of the three Norths that's primarily used for map reading and land navigation. Personally, I've rarely used it. If you catch up with me in a couple of videos in the future, you'll see me talking about the other two types of North that I do tend to use more often. For now though, I shall get rid of the distracting bulbous orange. I shall thank you for joining me once again in this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you think there are people in your network that may benefit from it, feel free to use and abuse that share button. And as always, a big thank you to everyone that's a subscriber. If you're not yet a subscriber, do click on the icon in this bottom corner of the screen and you'll automatically become one. Take care. Thanks for watching.